Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. In the bullpen today, we have Mr. John Hawkins, owner of culturalcidal.com. That's really unique. And author of 101 Things All Young Adults Should Know. All right, this is going to be interesting. We are going to chop it up about Joe Rogan. John, thank you for being on the show. Welcome. How are you? I'm fantastic. When I heard we we're going to do like a Joe Rogan favorite episode thing where we just talk about how much we love Joe Rogan, I thought it'd be great. I was looking forward to it a lot. Yeah, Joe Rogan is kidding. racist. Yeah, I know you're kidding, brother. <laughs> I'm um, kind of kidding. You never know. He's a Bernie bro. You might love the guy. Yeah, no, not I likely, but never. I, I don't. Let me tell you something. I don't give a damn what bro he is. I don't like what he has said about black people. And I will give you, obviously, the premise of my argument. Sure. I don't want to presume what you know, believe about Joe Rogan or his latest saga. So I will give you an opportunity to say what you feel and I will respond to it. Go ahead. What do I think about his latest saga? I, you know, I don't know what to tell you about that other than Joe Rogan's really popular. I don't think he's racist. I think he's a very entertaining guy. I think he's probably more mainstream than either one of us. I think the public loves the guy. I think Spotify's paid him an awful lot of money. And even if Spotify canceled him, he'd be just fine because I don't think any of his audience is offended by anything that's really happened in the last few months. I think a lot of people who don't like him don't like him because he's saying things that they don't want said. He's he's not woke. He is he's giving platforms to people they don't like. So that's the general opinion I have of the whole Joe Rogan thing. Uh, okay. So do you think he has said things that are racist against black people? I think he's definitely said things that were extremely offensive. Okay. I don't think racist. he meant them as racist. Now, nothing I've heard. I mean, maybe you've got some deep stuff I haven't heard in the news lately. Never know. All right. So let me ask you this. Sure. Sure. Because I find it quite interesting when, number one, you know you're coming on the show to talk about the saga that's happening with Joe yes, Rogan. Yes, okay? yes. And when I posed the question to you, what are your mm -hmm. thoughts about the latest saga? Mm -hmm. Your response was, you don't know. But he was well, a lot popular. more than you don't know, though. He, I went, well, he's okay, mainstream. Go ahead. I mean, it's a bunch of jargon. Mm -hmm. So let's get to the nitty gritty let's of do. why you're here on the show. Uh, Joe Rogan has a pattern of racist and racially insensitive commentary. Mm -hmm. And me as a black man, I can speak to it quite adequately. And I would do so for the sake of this conversation. When Joe Rogan said, we got out talking about into a black neighborhood. And it was like, we were in Africa. Like we were in Planet of the Apes, not a white person in sight. Is that racist? I think it was insensitive. Did you watch the whole clip? Because yeah. there was a lot more than just that little clip to it. Yeah, I watched. And it. I, I think right shortly after he said, "You know what? That sounded kind of racist." He yeah, went he on. He admitted it was racist. He admitted it sounded racist. He so he was on. racist, correct? No, I don't think he's racist. He said it was racist. He said he thought it sounded racist. There's right. His words were racist. Definitely insensitive sounded. But his words were racist. racist, sir. He even I said his words were racist. racist. I think he thought it sounded racist. There's a difference between sounding racist and being racist. And I think if you listen to that clip, he even went on to say, man, you know, I, I realized doing this whole thing that, you know, black Americans have a big point when they talk about how, hey, it's all white people on TV. Because I'm sitting here watching all these in an all black movie theater. I'm watching all these previews and they're all white people. And I could sit there and see, this is what he said in the same clip. I could sit there and see how people under, you know, I'd never realized that until I'm sitting at a black movie theater watching all these clips and there's not any black people on the screen. So, I, you know, I think Joe Rogan's more complicated and you're trying to portray him. No, I think he is a complicated guy. I've actually agreed with Joe Rogan on some things before, but I'm very clear about implicit bias. Are you familiar with implicit bias? Well, tell me, educate me. Implicit bias is an innate, it's connected to your core and it's so indoctrinated to your lifestyle and your pattern of understanding the broader world around you that you are unable to detect it. So it comes out when you make a statement like, yeah, I was around a bunch of black people, no white people were in sight. So I felt like I was in Planet of the Apes. Well, that's what we call an implicit bias slip because in his implicit bias, he believes in his world that when he's only around black people and no white people are there, that he's now in a jungle of sorts. 
that he's around animals. That the individuals who are human beings who happen to have black skin without the presence of white skin, he's in a dangerous situation. That he's literally around wild animals. You see how implicit that is? Now he corrected it because he's at least smart enough to realize how that's going to land because he was on a broadcast platform when he said it. Even one of the individuals seemed to be immediately or have an immediate response to it, just nonverbal. So I think he got it, right? It's not to say he didn't get it. It is to say that he was in fact implicitly racist. Mm -hmm. And it came from a very genuine and authentic place inside of him. That has to be checked, brother. This is my point to you. Mm -hmm. I get the popularity of Joe Rogan. There are many people that rock with him. There are some people that rock with him that don't rock with him today. But I want to expose a greater truth in this situation. Now, here's the greater truth. The insensitivity connected to individuals that we honor. Mm -hmm. You know, Joe Rogan did hurt some black folks that like him, that actually follow him, mm -hmm. that at one point had respect for him. And he compared black people to being apes. I guarantee you, if Joe Biden would have said something like that, uh, if Hillary Clinton would have said something like that. And hell, let's be frank, the Clintons have said something like that. And they were blasted by me and other people when they referred to black folk as criminals, etc. cetera. Uh, so they have said things like this. And they were blasted by those not only in black uh, advocacy organizations, but also by those on the right. So it seems to me that those on the conservative right, they're clearly able to call out the racism exhibited by Democrats. And yes, Democrats, some Democrats are racist. They're easily able to see the racism inside of some Democrats because they'll quickly throw up. Well, Joe Biden said this 20 years ago, so and so said this. But then when it comes to people inside of their own political party, they become apologists to their racism. Have you not seen that dynamic, brother? Well, yes. One, I would say yes. Let me yeah. just add though, maybe it's not implicit racism. Maybe Joe Rogan's just a comedian being edgy. And he's on the air all the time, and occasionally he says dumb stuff. Joe Rogan's that, a comedian. That's what I'm saying. Joe Rogan's definitely a very good stand-up comedian if you watch his stand-up. But you're right, yeah. There, are, I think Republicans are uh, slack about calling out racism. I think they probably should be quicker to call it out. And I think one of the reasons is just straight-up politics. Republicans don't have a lot of. Uh, there's not a lot of black Republicans percentage-wise, so Republicans are slower to call that kind of thing out. They're slower to police that kind of. Well, language. that means they're cowards. Well, I think that's something that's changing as far as the number of but, black But you do admit that if there's racism in front of you, you're afraid to call it, out, call it out because of what racist people will say, then you are a coward, correct? I would agree with that, but I don't think that's a reason. I think it's more of a, hey, there's just not a lot of black Republicans. And I think in the past, in particular, Republicans have not put as much emphasis as they should on recruiting black Americans, bringing more black Americans into the party, paying attention to that language. Well, they got too many I think racist people changing. in the party. I, I, you know what? There's racist people everywhere. Yeah, I mean, but we just admit it. Most the of them in the Republican Party. I don't agree with that. I think you, you can probably find just if as you many take Democrats. an average KKK member. I guarantee you, roughly 100 percent of the current KKK. What political party that's, do you that's think probably they like subscribe one? To? That's probably like seven thousand people. Two, <laughs> I don't know. Do you believe? Do you think that 100 percent? Like, I, I really believe 100 percent of the I KKK don't. they identify with Trump politics. You don't think so? I think a good number of them identify with Trump politics, or at least half. At least half. half. So, so you think there are members of the KKK who voted for Kamala Harris to be vice president? I, I guarantee you there were some. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Didn't David Duke endorse uh, Kamala, or was it Biden he endorsed? Oh, man. All right. Let me, I mean, yeah. Let me ask you about this one. Let me ask you about this one, because we have limited time. We got another show sure, coming sure, up. Sure, sure. Yes. All right. Uh, there was another conversation that was problematic to me that Joe mm -hmm. Rogan had, uh, where he basically called light complected black men, not black. So by his linear logic, I'm not black, okay? And he said, it's kind of weird to call you know, people that are his complexion or that are light. He said, it's weird to call them black and they're not black. And his co-host echoed that same sentiment, he co-signed on it. Do you think I'm black? I yeah. think I'm black, all right, I'm black. I'll right? take your word for it. All right, take my word for it. Now, Joe Rogan said something ridiculous like that, understand, the context, brother. You got Whoopi Goldberg, who literally doesn't have a job at least for two weeks, maybe longer, because she said uh, in ignorance that Jewish people or the Jews are not a race. She said that. She yeah. gets suspended. She has. She's going through this uh, possible cancellation. It was an insensitive and ignorant statement. Mm -hmm. Joe Rogan says it. He's a white male, obviously, even considers himself to be a white male. 
said it directly in his latest apology while denying me as a black male saying I'm not a black male, but he's a white male. He says this racially ignorant statement and he gets an offer of $100 million to go to another platform. Explain this to me. Well, I thought it was a weird riff. I believe he was talking to Jordan Peterson and they had some kind of weird riff there. It was racist, what, brother. The whole damn weird. conversation was racist. I thought it was weird. I didn't think that was racist So that's at the all. new word for racist, weird. I didn't think, I'll tell you that. I didn't think it was racist at all. I thought it was a strange conversation about what color people were based on Wait how- Wait a minute, so like Joe it. Rogan gets to be a white man as he said very clearly. Uh, that he is a white man, that word is not for him to use, et cetera, et cetera. But he clearly calls himself a white man. So him saying, I'm a white man, but I get to define what a black man is as a white man. You don't find that at its core racist? I, I don't, man. It's 2022. If Rachel Dozell can be black, and Sean King can be black. If Joe Rogan can be white, I mean, if you wanted to say you were white, yeah, I wouldn't there contradict go with that you. Sean King. At least Sean King got uh, has a black parent. Uh, Sean King graduated from Morehouse College. Sean King has been fighting for black rights, uh, and Sean King uh, is uh, a champion for much of the criminal justice reform you've seen in America. Made uh, a but lot let's be, let's of money be on the side clear. on some of those hustles, though. He's made this gone into his pocket too. But let's, anyway, be very, yeah. let's be very clear. Let's be very clear about Joe Rogan and racism. Yes. Everything that a white person does, it seems like you're willing to say, yeah, that's weird. That's not racist. And and I'm I'm trying to get you to understand because because you're a smart guy. You are a mm -hmm. smart guy. I don't agree with the you. politics, but you're a smart guy. Please understand, man. Racism doesn't have to be what we call hyper aggressive to be racist. Because the end result is the same, and here's the end result. The end result is that these biases based on skin color will play itself out through a very organic process if it's not checked. And Joe Rogan, when he said basically that black people remind him of Planet of the Apes when there's no white person around, right? When he said that, that was his implicit bias slip. That means that he has something inside of his soul that he needs to get right. And as long as we keep protecting individuals like that, as long as we keep being apologists for them, they would never, they would never realize the greater connection of humanity outside of the racial conversation, because they are unwilling to check their implicit bias. And people like you, you continue to coddle them and to support them and protect them through it. Tough love is love too, brother. And sometimes folks who put things out in the public they need to experience tough love. You don't agree? Well, I do agree people need to get tough love. Okay. I think we're making a mistake and I just disagree with you categorically yeah. on trying to take everything into this. All right, we gotta look for implicit bias. We gotta try to dip, how deep can we dip in here and decide something's racist? You know, I think we've got to look at intent. And I think we have got to look at what people are trying to well, do with what was, they it actually was definitely, think. It was definitely offensive. Uh, it was offensive and, and many disagree. others, uh, and it was rooted in racism. Now, before we go, we got like three minutes before the next show. Um, I want to bring up a term that many on the right continue to use about Joe Rogan, and it's called cancel culture. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about cancel culture? I think it's a it's a great myth you all made up. People don't like certain people when they say crazy things about them. That's how it that's how it works. Cancel culture is a, com a complicated topic. We could do a whole show on it. Just to give you the short version is what's yeah. happening to Joe Rogan cancel culture. I would say no. Yeah, I, I think do. Joe Rogan is a big guy. I think if Spotify fires Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan will be just fine. He will probably make more money somewhere else. Uh, I worry more about cancel culture from some guy who, let's say, made a dumb tweet five years ago and he gets fired from his job as a as a manager somewhere because he said something dumb, or someone who who said something they weren't really thinking. They make a little joke, and next thing you know, they they weren't trying to be a bad guy. It was insensitive. It was dumb, and yeah. they end up getting yeah. crushed by it. So I don't worry All about right. cancel culture so much in reference to someone like Joe Rogan. I yeah. think it's more in reference to er, to uh, ordinary people maybe making thoughtless or dumb statements and having their lives. Okay, we, you and I, you and I, and I definitely want you to come back. And debate that in, in, a, in a more full uh, opportunity for debate. Uh, yeah. Do you consider black people apes or monkeys? No. Why? They're not apes or monkeys. But why don't you <laughs> consider them apes or monkeys? Why would I? Because you're not racist, right? Well, I just don't because they're not. 
You're not a right. you're not a you're monkey not if you're black. Nah, your white you people racist? aren't apes a monkey. No, I'm not. All right, that's why you don't. Your audience will disagree, but I'm gonna say no. Okay, all right. It's been fun, man. Next time we'll have more time. We got to go to the next show, but thank you, brother. Hey, thank you for having me on. Absolutely.